The father of the toddler who was attacked by a coyote in a Lake Highlands neighborhood says the little boy will recover. Two-year-old Landon Knox has gashes on his head and neck and he needed surgery. Landon's dad wasn't up to doing an on-camera interview, but he still shared the update. Fox News David Centendry is live in Lake Highlands with the ongoing search for that coyote. David. Yeah, Clarice, we are about a mile and a half away from the home where that two-year-old child was attacked by the coyote. Dallas Animal Services is still out here trying to pinpoint where the coyote is at, as well as some other groups. Now, in the meantime, I spoke with some people who live in the neighborhood. They say if they come across the coyote, they are prepared to take action. They said there's no guarantee on when they'll stop. Bill Dorsey is a volunteer crossing guard at White Rock Elementary School. It's where Tuesday morning he saw a coyote. And we hear the coyotes at night. He says it's uncommon to see them in daylight, so he took a picture. This is extraordinarily rare. Unfortunately, he believes it's the same coyote that, 21 minutes later, attacked a two-year-old boy a few blocks away. Minutes after we saw it. it the father of two-year-old Landon Knox Thomas tells Fox 4 off camera his son was only alone on their front porch for a brief moment when the coyote attacked him. His mother ran at the coyote screaming and got it to drop her son. Landon has lacerations to his neck and head. He had surgery Tuesday, but is expected to recover. As for the coyote, he was fairly skinny. You know, you can see his ribs, you can see hip bones. Brett Johnson, City of Dallas's urban biologist, says the coyote could be diseased. Yes, there is probably mange. And one just printed right past me. Jamie Pierce lives and runs in the neighborhood. She says a coyote recently crept up on her family's outdoor cat. Like every day there seems to be some type of coyote sighting. Attacking a human's kind of a whole nother yeah. ballpark. Dallas Animal Services says some residents say they've recently reported coyotes in the area. It's reviewing call logs. Johnson says there could be several thousand coyotes in Dallas and this area near White Rock Lake is popular. Those are basically wildlife highways. Surveillance video appears to show a coyote chasing a child in the same neighborhood about a week before the two year old was attacked. Rarely in the broad daylight. Dorsey says he and some other dads in the neighborhood received all but a blessing that if civilians were able to take it out, then we could do so. We'll be prepared if they come across the coyote. We have that capability in my truck. Now, someone in this neighborhood posted to the Nextdoor app just today saying that their dog was killed by a coyote. I reached out to Dallas Animal Services to see if this was true and if they believe it might be the same coyote, but at this point in time, they have not responded to our questions.